this is our diesel heater. It's in our unit. Uh, it just takes the chill off the unit itself. Uh, it's way too big to be um, satisfied by this little heater. The diesel runs down there. The filter is actually in uh, there. And then we have a 30 amp 12 volt power supply. Um, I haven't seen any of these around, but our actual case is um, aluminium. Pump is mounted at 15 degrees, and obviously the airflow is free. Our duct just literally just goes out to open air, and with a temperature pump, giving around 100 degrees. And we're configured on temperature rather than actual hertz settings. Uh, it's set at about 17 degrees or something. This um, covered box is to stop anyone from burning themselves on the exhaust pipe. And also it works as a rudimental heat exchanger, which I'll now show as well. This is 28 mil copper tubing. <coughs> Sealed with uh, foil tape and heat rack. Gets hot enough, it's actually melted one of the mounts, but it, it, it's not going anywhere, so it's not a problem. And that just exhausts out to atmosphere. There are possibilities that are obviously we have condensation at this point and this point, but measured temperature is in excess of 100 degrees C, so with the amount of air flowing through, it should take any condensation with it. And I'll show you the difference between the air coming in and then the heat transfer temperature. Right, so the probe is set just in front of the inlet ball and it's just bringing in our fresh air. Uh, it's currently at 16, 17 degrees. Right. Cover is now fitted and temperature pro still going to the back. This is the air temperature coming into the unit. Utilising the exhaust gases. So with the heat exchanger cover removed and the temperature pro put back in, this is now our exit temperature. Cover's put back in and the temperature starts to rise. We get to about 95, 96 degrees. And that's the system that's working. It's working 100%. Um, I've taken the fan now up to 4,900 and we're uh, pumping about 5 hertz but I don't think it is 5 hertz. I haven't really timed it on the pump, but it does seems to be, just seems to be a little bit slower than what I would expect it to be pumping. Five pumps per second, I'm not really too sure. Anyway, this is um, three, three or four days worth, I think it's three and a half days worth of uh, fueling, nine hours a day, 100% operating, and we've used probably eight liters of fuel. I will actually be stripping the unit down in about four weeks just to see what it's like for coke build up. Thank you.